Hello everyone. Welcome back to Technology and Livelihood Education 6 class, Industrial Arts. In this video, we are going to talk about the module 6, which is market products. This is based on the Unified Supplementary Learning Materials, also known as USLEM. The expectations at the end of the module or the SLEM, you should be able to one, apply creative packaging and labeling. Two, apply technology assisted and other means of product marketing. Three, compute income from sales. And number four, prepares plans for mass production or creating a new product. Before we go on to the lesson proper, please answer the pretest. Direction. Write true if the statement is correct and false if the statement is wrong and underline the incorrect word or group of words of the false statement. Write your answer on the space provided before each number. This time, I would like you to please get your TLE6 notebook and write your answers there. If you still need more time to answer this slide, just pause this video and once you are done, just continue watching it. Number one. Rita used box to pack her wooden spoon to add marketability to her product. Two, Ben used tagline to show the information about the product on its container. Three, every product that is available in the market have the same packaging and labeling. Four, using carton, plastic, and bubbles wrapper in protecting wooden product is an example of labeling. Five, the common materials used in packaging bamboo and wooden product are plastic, carton, cardboard, and bubble wrap. Six, Facebook, Instagram, and Messenger are modern technology used in marketing products at this time of pandemic. Seven, Social media like Facebook is one way of promoting a product. Eight, the money that Carla used in exchange of commodity, product, and services is called profit. Nine, Dina computes her sale by deducting the amount spent in buying, operating, or producing the product. And number 10, in creating a new product, planning is important in monitoring and evaluating the progress of your business. Are you done? Let us check your work. Please be honest in checking your own work. Number one, Rita used box to pack her wooden spoon to add marketability to her product. True. Two, Ben uses a tagline to show the information about the product on its container. The answer is false, and the word that makes it false is a tagline. Three, every product that is available in the market has the same packaging and lab labeling. The answer is false, and the statement or the words that make it false is has the same packaging and labeling. Number four, using carton, plastic, and bubble wrapper in protecting wooden product is an example of labeling. The answer is false. The word is labeling. Five, the common materials used in packaging bamboo and wooden product are plastic, carton, cardboard, and bubble wrap. True. Number six, Facebook, Instagram, and Messenger are modern technology used in marketing product, products at this time of pandemic. The answer is true. Seven, social media like Facebook is one way of promoting a product. True. Eight, the money that Carla used in exchange of commodities, products, and services is called profit. The answer is false. And the word is profit. Nine, Dina computes her sale by deducting the amount spent in buying, operating, or producing the product. False. The, the word that makes it false is sale. Number 10, in creating a new product, planning is important in monitoring and evaluating the progress of your business. The answer is true. Now let's have a short review of your previous lesson. 
by answering the looking back. Directions based on the illustration below, label the parts of the project plan. Write your answer in the space provided. Again, you must write your answers in your notebook. So, shall we check your work? But if you still need more time to answer this, just pause this video. To give you a bigger view of the project plan, here is the next slide. Are you ready? Let us now check your work. Here are the parts of a project plan. Number one is the name or the title of the project. Two, we have here the objectives. Three, materials and or tools. Four, illustration or drawing. Five, procedures. And six, evaluation. I hope you get it right. This module was designed in order for the learners to understand the importance of marketing product using creative packaging and labeling, apply technology assisted and other means of product marketing, computes income from sales and prepares plans for creating a new product that will help the learners to be more skillful, productive, and globally competitive. Product packaging with custom labels catches the attention of your target customers when they are looking for products. So we have here the packaging. Let us now talk about what is packaging. It is designing and producing the container to add marketability to the product. It is an art and technology in protecting the product from transferring, storage, distribution, and use. In other words, kids, it adds protection to your product. Kasi kung nakabalot yan ng maayos, hindi madadamage yung product nyo, especially during the shipment. We also have here labeling. It is attaching a piece of paper, fabric, plastic, or sticker to, product, to a product that gives information about the product. It can be in a form of any written, electronic, or graphic communication on the package or on a separate but associated label. So labeling, describe niya kung ano ba yung meron sa produkto ninyo. Functions and importance of packaging and labeling. So it promotes the product, defines the product identity, provides information, expresses customers' needs, and protects the product. Here are the modern technologies used in marketing the products. Before, during the old normal, yung hindi pa new normal, we have here print and graphic arts media like the brochure, flyers, newspapers, magazines. Diba kapag pumupunta kayo sa mall, uh, may mga taong nag-aabot sa inyo ng flyers. So that is one way to promote their products. And Next is the electronic media. This is the advertisement that or commercials that can be watched in the television, that can be heard over the radio. Ngayon, pumapasok na rin siya sa mga mobile devices and of course, computer. The third one is the product display. We have here the bazaar exhibits or market display. And the fourth one, ito na pumasok na yung 21st century technologies. We have here the Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, email, messenger. Through these social medias, pwede tayong makabili ng produkto online at pwede tayong mag-promote ng mga products online. Hindi lang yun, nakakabili na rin tayo ng mga produkto online. And number five, promotional gifts. These are the giveaways like calendar, ball pen, keychain, mug, towel. So talking about on how to compute income from sale, we have here the profit. Profit is the amount gained 
from the sales of products or services after deducting the amount spent as capital and operational expenses. Sales is the exchange of commodities, products, and services for money. While expenses are the money spent on the products, including the labor, transportation, utilities, packaging, promotion on the product, and others. So the formula for computing the profit, take note about this, kids. Profit is equals to sales minus the expenses. Well, in order to, to get the profit, you deduct the expenses from the sales. So profit is equals equal to less, equal to sales less expenses. So we have here the sample computation of income in extension cord with a markup price of 50%. So the materials and tools, and we have here the cost. So for the materials, Five meters flat cord SPT two sixteen over two one point twenty six millimeter X two C and one universal female plug. So the five meters flat cord is seventy five pesos. The one universal female plug is fifty pesos, and the one male plug is the is thirty five pesos. The transportation is 40 pesos for a total of 200 pesos. That is the total cost of items, 200 pesos. And there is a markup of 50%. So if we are going to compute that, it's the cost of items multiplied by the markup. So 200 times 0.50 is equals to 100 markup. So 200 plus 100 is equals to 300 pesos selling price. That is now the selling price. So if you sold 20 extension cords, the sales will be 6,000, less the cost, 4,000, and the profit, you will have an income of 2,000 pesos. Okay, so get ready for the next activity. Task number one, unpack your knowledge. Directions, read and understand the important details about packaging and labeling. Identify the pictures if it is packaging or labeling. Write your answers in the space provided. Again, you must write your answers on your TLE6 notebook. So you may now start answering. If you still need more time, just pause this video. And for, for those who are done, let us now check your work. The first picture is packaging. Number two, we have here labeling. Three, packaging. Four, labeling. And number five is packaging. So activity task number two, let's do the mathematic challenge. Directions, analyze and solve the given problem. Oh, my math na. Number one, Alan started a bamboo store that specializes in enhancing bamboo products. He decided to enhance his bamboo, his old bamboo lampshade in the store. The total expenses in enhancing the lampshade are 150 pesos. It is sold at 250 pesos. How much is the interest profit that was gained? And we have here the second problem. Cesar has a business of creating wooden furniture chairs. In making a wooden chair, he spent 200 pesos on the materials. How much should he sell the product if he wants to gain a 25% profit? Now, it's your time to think and to solve for this problem. If you still need more time in answering the problem, just pause this video. And for those who are done, let us now check your work. So number one, the problem 
is here Allen started a bamboo store that specializes in enhancing bamboo products. He decided to enhance his old bamboo lampshade in the store. The total expenses in enhancing the lampshade are 150 pesos. It is sold at 200 pesos. How much is the interest profit that was gained? The answer is 33%. And number two, Cesar has a business of creating wooden furniture chairs. In making a wooden chair, he spent 200 pesos on the materials. How much should he sell the product if he wants to gain 25% profit? And the answer is 250 pesos. Now let us move forward to the next. We have here task number three, think like Tinker Bell. Directions, complete the statement based on your understanding about the topic. It is important to prepare a plan for mass production or creating a new product because. So this will be based on your own opinion. So again, just write your answers in your notebook and let us now go on to remember. Do not forget. By the way, before we go on, here's the rubric in giving a score on the task number three. Performance indicators or criteria for grading, we have here ideas, five points, three points, and one point. Word choice, five points, three points, and one point, and conventions. So going, moving forward, remember, online or internet marketing is one of the most appropriate marketing strategies at this time of pandemic. So para maging safe tayo, hindi na natin kailangan lumabas. So through the use of those technologies, makakapag-market pa rin tayo, makakapagtinda pa rin tayo online. If you are a seller, you must consider the market demands, supplies, and needs of your customers. There must be an efficient framework to follow and lay out of plans for mass productions. Normally, manufacturers produce massively on daily needs such as goods and essential things. Good packaging will make a product more attractive and saleable. Packaging can make or break a business. There must be proper labeling for each product to avoid confusion to customers. The formula for computing profit is profit is equal to sales minus expenses. Or profit is equal to sales fewer the expenses. Knowledge check. Checking your understanding. Let's find out if you remember some points in learning. Your family went to your grandmother's hometown in Maasin, Iloilo for a vacation. Your grandmother has lots of bamboo products and she asked you to bring them to your store. How will you pack those bamboo products to ensure safety and protection? So you may write your answers in your notebook. So now for your post-test or TLE6 IA quiz number six, on the giving link, you may scan the QR code or you may type in the link that is posted on the screen and you may access the test by clicking the link on the description below. Should you have any questions or clarifications, please comment down below. That's all for this video. I hope you learned something from me. I'll see you again in my next week. Goodbye and stay safe, everyone.